Garlic scapes. What are they? What can you do with them? Just who do they think they are with their cute little curls and their whatever that thing is? No, I'm just kidding. That is a flower bud and it contains lots of little bulbils, which are just little clones of the mother plant. So you can cut this thing off and eat all where it's nice and tender here, even including the flower bud. You can cut that off because that's a little yellow and dry on the end, but all of this is edible, has a mild garlic flavor, and it's quite useful in lots of cooking recipes. So to harvest these, you can come in with a little garden scissor and just snip that off right there. So if you have both hands free, which uh, I don't, then you can hold the plant with one hand and then just kind of bend and snap it where it is still tender. So the, the trick is you want to harvest these when they're still curly like this, because as they starting to, if they're already starting to straighten up, then you waited a little bit too late. And uh, that's actually getting to the point with this one. I had to wait for some good weather for this video. But that, as it starts to strengthen there, it becomes a bit more tough and fibrous. So it's not as uh, enjoyable to eat, but wherever it's tender and curly, that's still good eating. So we can go ahead and chop the rest of these off here. We've got that one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And these five on the end do not have any scapes. And that is because those are soft neck garlic. So hard neck garlic, I can pretty much guarantee they will produce a scape. Soft neck don't, although it's, it's very rare, they will actually produce a scape sometimes, but not very often. So in general, hard neck scapes, soft neck, no scapes. Don't worry, soft neck, we still love you equally. You're beautiful. But even if you don't plan on using the scapes or eating them or anything, you should still take them off because like any flower bud, they take a lot of nutrients and water and energy to continue growing through their whole cycle. So by removing them, you are preserving all of those resources to continue growing the size of the bulb and developing its wonderful flavor. The appearance of the scapes is also a very good indication that the plants have about a month left to go till the bulbs are ready to harvest. And you will also know at that time when about two thirds of the leaves have turned yellow or brown on the hard neck varieties, the soft neck will just flop over on their side when they're ready to harvest. And we had two more hard necks growing out here outside of the garden. The rest of these are soft neck. So that brings the total to 11 scapes. Not much of a harvest, but we'll figure out something to do with them. Uh, so what can you do? Well, you can easily go online and just look up garlic scape recipes and find plenty of ideas. Uh, garlic scape pesto is really popular, or you can just use them like you would any green onion or a scallion or leek or something like that. Uh, we usually like to do like an olive oil and garlic sauce for our pizzas. So I thought maybe we could chop these up, saute them in oil and use that concoction for the sauce instead for a pizza. And my mouth is watering right now, so we're definitely gonna have to do that. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. And if this video answered any of your questions on garlic scapes, please hit that thumbs up button and share the video with your friends. Uh, if you have any recipes of your own that you'd like to share, feel free to do so in the comments and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Thanks.